She was scared of me. She stayed in that bathroom for a very long time. She found the highest point she could go to, which was above the mirror in my bathroom. Sometimes when I was up there, she would fall out. It was like she had never been able to sleep that deeply before. So I put a bed in the sink to break her fall. The first couple days were difficult, but the next couple days she explored at night. She started to go downstairs and was under the couch. When she heard me get into bed, she would come out from the couch, eat her food, and then I see she's playing around. I started to feel like, okay, she's enjoying her life a little bit. But then each morning, she'd zoom right back under the couch. I started trying to play with her because I saw her playing at night. She would stick a paw out and play here and there throughout the day. Mama. She came from a dumping ground. It's okay, pumpkin. You can't help but think of what her life was to make her so untrusting and scared. All day she would just stay in her spot and be nervous if I went anywhere near her. She was essentially hiding for a year. She has made progress over that time but she's still spending all day under the couch. And I just feel I'm not doing my job if that's her life for any long period of time. I was connected with Susie, who I have saved in my phone as Susie the Cat Whisperer. She suggested blocking off the couch and requiring Gia to be accessible to me. Then after those couple weeks, she chose the window. Second was getting chicken baby food. Susie said, put it on the end of a wooden spoon and make sure to get some on her mouth so that she has to lick it off. Over time, I would move my hand closer and closer to her. I started to play with her. I started giving her little pets on the top of her head with a wand of a toy. It was then that I realized, ooh, she enjoyed pets and leaned into them. That's a kitty. I did the same thing every day until it was me that was petting her. Couple times I put her in my lap. Yeah, that's a good girl. And then she started crawling into my lap on her own. After about four months of working on her, I was able to pet her and she was climbing into my lap. When I thought about uprooting her after her building up to this, I was like, this is her home. She's been here for a year, she's mine. What I learned about myself is just my capacity for patience and unconditional love. I think it's just an excellent story of what a little bit of love and consistency and patience can do for an animal. Life every day is a little blessing and she brings me joy. I think that it took a little while to get here, but it was totally worth it.